Right, hi, today I'm going to show you how to change the V-belt on a Legler flip. So first things first, we want to turn it upside down. Now the first three screws we're going to undo is the belt tensioner and the two on the sides that hold the plate in place. And to do this we're going to use our tool that actually comes with the flip. And pretty much this is the only tool you're ever going to need to do work on the flip. So the first one is your belt tensioner. Just, just release that off. Then, once the plate is removed, you can then undo it by hand. And just put the brackets to either side. With that, your belt should, with a twist, come off nice and easy. So to get to our belt, we then need to undo three more screws on the dust cover. Okay, once we're then in the dust cover, we can check the condition of our belt. You want it to be looking like this, all, all the teeth and everything all intact. No sort of no damage, no cracks inside the belt. Also, the, the other thing to, to have a look at with the belt and with your, your pulleys and the front sanding plate is that they actually fit around and they're nice and flush. If they go, if they're actually in sat inside, that means your belt is worn away on the side, which can cause slipping. So the next thing with our belt, obviously we can't take it off in this way because we have our sanding plate which is stopping it. So, so with the four screws on the top, then we just lift the cover off and remove the belt. Again, it's a good time when we can actually then check the sand and plate, making sure that there's no damage around the actual base of it and that our Velcro is all nice and good as well. Then all we need to do is get our nice new belt, make sure it fits in all nice and flush around the sides. So we're happy with that. Then we want to get our cover with our belt. Then we'll pull our belt nice and tight so it then fits in place and then locate our four holes again keeping the belt tight just dropping the screws in the main thing to remember when you're doing any of the screws up is not to over tighten them get them to a nice to a bit of tight and then one more little turn just to pinch them off so just checking that the belt is all tight and that it turns and we've we got movement there we're now ready to put it back onto the flip now for the purpose of the video I'm not actually going to put the cover back on and some people do actually find it easier to actually put it back on without the cover as you can get straight in from the top where with the cover you have to bring your thumb in from underneath. So with that, with our thumb tensioner, we just want to get that in place, line our two holes back up and then put our brackets back on. At this point what we don't want to do is actually tighten them all the way in. We want to line the belt up. But the way I like to do that is by using the actual moulding lines and to make sure that they're nice and level, the belt's in nice and tight and then I'll lock the two side nuts off. Last one I then do is obviously the tensioner. Once I'm happy just to give it a little twist 
make sure that the, the pulley and the plate are both turning freely. Then all we then need to do is just replace our dust cover. show you how to change the pulley on your flip. If you notice a loss of power or the disc on the bottom of your machine stop working or you're struggling to tension this part on your machine properly then you may find that you need to change the pulley on your machine.